So what I want to talk about for line today is awakened monsters. This shit is so cool. So here's our good boy fucker frog, our brand new best boy. This is the coolest monster rancher monster I've seen in a very long time. He is so sick. But oh, there is an awakened mode in this, which is you feed your monster a special item and boost their stats, and it turns them into a shiny version, which I mean is just gotcha hell to be honest. But it's pretty sick. They look the same. Except they don't look the same, you know. This Corone, which Corone is normally like a light brown monster. There's this uh, Gaboo. <laughs> oh my god, this fucking Gaboo. This guy. This shit is so spooky looking. What's with these nails? So this is just normal frozen Gaboo, except he's got yellow all over him. This is the awakened one with like the gold, the gold horn. He's got a magic horn. I have a I, uh, magic yes. horn. As long as the shiny aspect doesn't affect stats in any way. It's an item, so it's not... It's not an actual shiny, it's not like a 1 in 5,000 chance to get it. You feed your monster an item, and for that monster's run, because the way the game works is kind of like a roguelite, where your monster has to win X amount of battles in a row to become champion, and if it doesn't, it gets reverted back to base stats, and you have to like start your training over again. Uh, from people who have played, it seems to be like a fun gameplay mechanic. So you would feed your monster an item to make it its awakened version for that run, which boosts its stats a little, and then, you know, it goes away if you lose. So it's not like shiny hunting, it's not like trying to roll to find more awakened monsters, it's just a thing that gives you a temporary boost. So I don't think it'll be that bad. Okay, here's a couple. Yeah, here's a weird old centaur. You guys know what centaur looks like. But now he's got a purple chest and tail. A shiny centaur here. That's kind of an interesting one. We got Gobi. Well, if it was purple, that's exactly it. Instead of being bronze all over, he's got white chest. Oh, also we saw the the pixie undine. The undine pixie, I should say. So we do know there's a lot more undine subbreeds than there was last time. Kind of like shiny Gobi. He's kind of cool. Excited for more undine subs. Me too, so I can stop looking at that forehead. Oh, Smopian's back in the game. Look how cute Smopian is. He doesn't look like Nightmare Fuel anymore. He's adorable. We got Metal Gel as well. You know, just textureless, but... Metal gel's back, baby. Also, it has uh, all these texts. I think, I don't know, is that copter there? A lot of the texts seem to have similar stat values to what they did in Monster Rancher 2. This is the, the tropical dog. He looks like he's on fire. Or possibly compressed to hell. Simopian is theorized to be a fucker frog sub. Hell yeah. Oh yeah, we see Death Dragon too. Death Dragon looks sick in this game. He kind of has like an old man face going on, but I guess that makes sense considering, you know, no one's older than the dead. Also, stats uh, are measured on a letter scale from G to SS, which is kind of funny. If your monster's got E damage, it's actually not too bad. Also, we didn't look at this last time, but uh, I love the frog hanger. He's so goofy looking. That's so good. What a silly guy. So yeah, I, I just wanted to take a look at some of the subs and some of the new coolest monsters that we haven't seen yet. Uh, Moo is beefing. Look at that. Where are some... Uh, okay, I'll take a look at the pressure one. I just wanted to look at some of the shiny guys. Yeah, okay, so here's a good example. Here's regular pressure. This is the Golemzilla. And then here's the shiny one. It's a little bit lighter. Kind of similar otherwise. It looks like it's just the fur that changes color. Also, this guy's got more attacks. I don't know how this works, because they're like locked out, right? Are the X's just like you can't get them on that monster? Why has he got access to more? I don't know. I don't know. I don't really care, though. It's all stuff we'll figure out in due time. So, because this game... These are screenshots from Zerker. Zerker doesn't live in Japan. He doesn't have a Japanese phone number. He didn't have to spoof an account to get access to this. He's in the West, and he has access to the game. So that means that we will probably all get access to this game. It's not going to be Japan only. Um, it's just going to be a question of when and whether or not they actually do um, translate it. I'm hoping they do. We'll never know until it happens. How do you learn text in this game? There's a whole entry thing, just like there's a Monster Entry 2. The game is very similar to Monster Entry 2 in like the core aspect of it like getting techs tech chains raising stats items that kind of thing but then it's very different in like gameplay progression specifically 
Um, so it it seems like whoever built this really liked Monster Rancher and also uh, that Horse Girl game because apparently it's literally the exact same game. Why you say that? But was the Monster Rancher originally built off the engine of a racehorse breeding simulator? I don't know if it was the same engine. Um, I just think they took a similar concept to something their studio had built before and made it and was like, what if Pokemon? 